For the past two weeks, we've been meeting the teams that participated in the High Hopes Challenge. This is our annual fundraiser in support of Kids Cancer Care. Today, we're going to introduce you to Travis and Kelly, who soared to new heights, literally. The tire bridge is a challenge for anyone, especially if you're afraid of heights like Travis. It's uh, pretty wobbly. It's awesome. He's like walking all the way across, and I was I didn't even have to cheer him that much. <laughs> it's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I'm terrified of heights, and that's that's pretty high. Kelly wasn't done pushing Travis out of his comfort zone. She cracked out some advanced moves on the zip line. The first ones to go backwards. That was pretty cool. Going backwards is always better though. It's like it gives you such a rush and you don't know what's coming. Over the past three years, the High Hopes Challenge has raised $450,000 for Camp Kindle. Kelly and her fellow campers have seen firsthand how that money has been put to use. It's still not really setting in that this is where camp's always going to be now. Um, every time I get here, it's something new, like um, the pool's finally done. It hasn't, I haven't seen it done yet. And um, the mortgage no longer exists. That's pretty cool. The TPs have never been here before. This is, this is all new. This, these paths are all new. Kelly has also seen a change in herself. At the old camp, I didn't really like surprises. I didn't like the thought of doing high ropes at all. I didn't like trying new things. I was, no, that's not happening. And then Camp Kindle came and surprises started to be okay. I was drowning or whatever. When she was five, Kelly was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer in her jaw. She went through 14 rounds of chemotherapy and had a 16-hour surgery where they removed a bone from her leg and used it to form a new jaw. Now I'm considered cured, which is pretty awesome. I don't have to worry about the cancer coming back, at least for my jaw. I don't have to worry about more treatments. I don't have to worry about any of that. All I have to worry about is that I have friends and family like I can't kindle and at the hospital looking out for me and making sure that I stay safe. She's amazing. She's uh, a beautiful little girl. Just has so much courage and sorry, um, I'm just really choked up because she's so strong and so confident. It's so amazing to see these kids that have been through so much and how outgoing and fun and you know willing to help and just gives you a lot of perspective on you know, what they've been through and how, how awesome they are. I'd say that if I never had cancer or never had chemo or anything like that, I would probably be a suck up 16 year old, not thinking about anyone else except myself. But since I've seen that side of the world and how people like me can suffer and sometimes people don't make it through, um, I can understand now that there's more to life than just worrying about yourself. You have to worry about others too. And to date, the 2013 High Hopes Challenge has raised over $147,000. You can still donate online at kidscancercare.ab.ca. Coming up.